Hey guys, welcome back to Locked In Festivity. In today's video, we're going to decorate this seven and a half foot flocked slim tree behind me. Now I've already added the lights and um, there's a little hint as to the theme here. So if you want to see how we decorate this tree for Christmas 2024, then stay tuned. So the theme I've decided to decorate this tree in this year is called Over the Oceans. And there's a little bit of a hint. So you'll notice here, there is a, it's a Lego model of the Titanic. Uh, it's absolutely huge. I built this probably about a year and a half ago. And it's one of those things that, you know, you build and then you can't find the space. So it sits here in this little alcove area. Um, so I thought, well, let's actually make it part of the Christmas decor. It is the Titanic. And so I've decided that over the oceans is where we're going to go with this theme. Now it's going to bring together some snow and icicles, of course, but I'm also going to use several picks and ornaments that ordinarily aren't what you would envisage as an under the sea theme, but I'm going to bring them together and hopefully the tree is going to give us that look. So the color palette for this tree is really bringing together shades of blue, silver, and a little bit of this mint green. And there's a whole range of different shades of each that I'm going to use. And hopefully that's going to work on the tree. So the inspiration for the color palette was these gorgeous glass uh, finials that I purchased uh, a couple of years ago now and just haven't utilized. So in those, you can see there's shades of green, which is where we're going to bring in some of these mint green tones. There's shades of silver. There's also blue. And then because of the look, the mercury glass look to it, uh, when the light shines through, I'm also going to bring in some of these clear um, icicle ornaments. And of course, you know, the ice, the Titanic. What can I say? I had to do it. So... There's a whole range of different color shades that we're going to use on this tree. I'm not using just one or two, and I'm hoping that they're going to play together and look a little bit like what I envisage, because I've never been there, um, under the ocean or a coral reef might look like. So I don't have any fish or anchors or sunny beach themed ornaments for this tree. Um, because what I wanted to do is show you that you can bring together a perfectly elegant under the sea theme without using some of those fun and whimsical pieces. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Now I do have one piece that is a little more oceany than I would probably like, and it's this netting. So I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. It's just a, um, a rope net. Um, We'll see. I've got it here. If I don't use it in the tree, I might use it in the uh, one of the door wreaths or even in the garland um, into the entry. So I'll hold that back um, and I'll see whether we use it or not. So where I'm going to start the design of this tree is at the top. We're going to start by bringing together some picks and sprays and building out our topper in and down around that top part of the tree. So I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use two of these gorgeous ice sprays. I just love the way that they look. We're going to use maybe two or three of these mint green sprays. And then I'm going to bring in a few of these pieces. Now these are just a, a very old pick that I've uh, over the years pulled apart, but I just love how they look um, a little bit, uh, well, I think they look like they belong under the ocean. Then I'm actually going to bring in a couple of ornaments into the topper and I'm going to bring in these gorgeous snowflakes. So they look like ice. So they're bringing together those two pieces, um, uh, those two items there. Now it's got a little bit of silver on it. And what I'm going to do is we're actually going to bring it out of the tree. So we're going to have a few Sort of dotted around and then we're going to flow that through uh, through the tree. So I'm going to start by putting these pieces in and then we'll see how we go. So 
So what I'm going to do now is go in with another piece to fill out the topper. Now I was going to go in with some ribbon, but I think I'm just going to test out and see uh, about maybe going in with a floral. So what I've used is one of those uh, silver or sort of denim um, poinsettias. And then I've actually bought in this mint green, which is slightly different to, uh, to the topper, to that spray. Um, but I think it's going to work because there's a couple of different shades of green or bluey green in some of the ornaments. And I think that's just going to give it a little bit more depth. So to continue to build out the topper, now that I've got those florals in, which are coming down the tree, I'm actually going to add just a couple of single ornaments. So these are just cheap and cheerful ornaments. Um, they do have a little bit of a pattern to them. So they're not, uh, they're not glass, um, but they sort of have that, um, that mercury uh, glass feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring them into the top of the tree. So just bring them in and around the tip and then that's just going to build that out slightly at the top of the tree and then we're going to go back in on a diagonal and do that again with a similar ornament slightly different shape i've got two ribbons to use for this tree and i'm going to keep my accent ribbon till last but this one is absolutely gorgeous. So see, it's got that netting. So this is why I'm not too concerned about whether or not I'm going to use this sort of fishing net, because I think this has exactly the texture that I'm looking for. So because this is a slim tree and because I don't want the ribbon to overpower the rest of the decoration, um, I'm going to go in with single loops with a very small tail. And we're going to keep the loops down the tree fairly tight and fairly short so I'm not going to come all the way down the tree we're going to keep them fairly tight and fairly short and move them in and around the tree as we decorate so where I'm at here is I've added that ribbon either side and I've actually added some to the back as well I know you can't see the back um, I've added a few more of these little curly silver pieces to the back just to help build out the topper. And I've added a few more of these um, sort of cheap and cheerful uh, mercury looking balls just around the back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue to build out this topper and build down and around the tree, probably to about the top third of the tree using a range of different pieces. So I'm going to bring in some flowers sort of around the side towards the back in that same angle. I'm going to start to bring in um, a few more of these baubles and a few more picks and we're just going to build it out. Now one I am going to go in with because I can see a nice big gap here and I think it's going to really offset the colours is one of these blue baubles. Now I love these, they're uh, foam so not very heavy at all. Um, but I love that it's a deep blue. So I've only got five of these deep blues, but I think if I put them around the tree in the right places, they're really going to help to bring out some of the other colours within a few of those ornaments. So that's the top third of the tree decorated. To be honest, it's probably a little bit more. I've started to work down a little bit further than I was going to. I was going to sort of end it here. But what I've done is I've spaced, started to space out some of these poinsettias and some of uh, the picks and sprays and just drop in some of the ribbon. Now, to do the next two thirds of the tree, I'm going to do it item by item. Now the reason I'm going to do that is to make sure that I've got enough of a spread down and around the tree because don't forget you can see the back although the further down we get into the tree the closer to the wall um, the back of the tree is so we might not need so many decorations there. So where I'm going to start is with my biggest pieces which are these uh, sort of icy picks and my poinsettias. Now I've got two 
of the poinsettias left, two of each, I should say, so two of that sort of mini cluster that I've pulled together. Um, and I've got two of these icy picks left. So we've got a section here in the tree where we're going to put uh, some of the poinsettias coming out and down. We're going to pop an icy pick at the front here. And then coming back around, we're going to put two of the poinsettias at the back coming down towards the door here. And we're going to pop one of the icy picks probably more towards the back, um, heading out into the door. So let me do that. And the next one I'm gonna go in with is just these final two. Uh, so these are the green sprays. I'm just gonna spray them out as much as I can so that they can take up uh, a fair bit of space. We're gonna go in and we're gonna find a couple of spots. So we've got them mostly at the top We've got a couple around, I think there's one at the back somewhere. Uh, so what we might do is pop one at the front here. So I've got several other pieces and some pieces I actually need uh, some space and I want to be in the tree and hanging out of the tree. So I'm gonna go in with them first before we go in and do any of the ribbon. So I've got these, uh, icicles or these snowflakes there's three left so I've got one at the front here I've got two either side I do have one around at the back so I'm going to place the three uh, one at the side here probably one at the front um, on a slightly different angle to this and then one at the side here now I added a couple of these uh, beautiful droplets uh, to the tree at the top and I'm going to add I've only got these two and I love that they've got these water droplets or these ice droplets on them, um, which are very similar again to this ice look, very similar to uh, the snowflakes, but also to those little droplets or those little crusts that are sitting on my dark blue uh, baubles that I've got in place. So I'm just gonna go and add these final two. So the next piece that I'm adding in, which again, I have added to the topper, are these gorgeous clear, they've sort of got this iridescent look to them, these green. Now again, they're a different green to the mint, they're a different green to the spray, uh, but I think they just add a little bit of dimension and you can see right through them, which is a gorgeous uh, effect in the tree. One more piece I'm going to add before I start going in and doing some ribbon are these gorgeous little glass finials. So these are the ones with um, with that blue and green detail. These were the inspiration for the color palette here. Now I only have five of these left, so I wanna make sure they're spaced out nice. So I'm now gonna go in with some more of this mesh ribbon. Um, I'm going to try and keep it as evenly spaced as I can throughout the tree. Uh, because I don't want it to be too clustered at this point, um, but uh, we'll see how we go. So I've moved you back a little bit so that you can see a little bit more of the bottom of the tree. Now I'm in a fairly small space, so I'm limited as to the camera angles. It probably means that you can't see the, the whole topper, but we're gonna be focusing here on the bottom half of the tree because the topper, other than maybe a few ornaments here and there, it's done. So let's focus here. So you can see I've added quite a few items already. We've got the picks and sprays, we've got the poinsettias in, we've got those beautiful snowflakes and we've also put in the last of those dark blue baubles. My next step is to go in with some more ribbon and a few of these key ornament pieces that I've only got a few of. We'll then build it out with some mint green clusters. I've got some silver trios. We'll see if we put those in, but I think the mint green is just going to add a little bit more color to, to the tree. I want to show you these quickly. These are just a very lightweight ornament. Now, I actually don't know what they are, um, but to me, they look like a bit of a sea creature. And so I thought they're going to work perfectly with this theme. And they're that same sort of denim, uh, I'm gonna call it denim, denim blue. Now they did come with a nice little organza uh, ribbon um, to hang in the tree. Of course, that's not me, I don't do that. So what I've done is added a, a piece of wire. I'm just gonna drop these two and show you. 
So the little ball inside that all these little spikes are coming off is foam, uh, which is perfect because it means that I can literally just stick my wire in, not too far in, in, and because they're so lightweight, it's going to hold and it's just going to sit in the tree nicely. The other two ornaments, which I don't think I've shown you yet, but I have added to the topper, are these two. Now I've got quite a few of these. I think I've probably got about eight or nine left. I had 12 and then these I've only got uh, two or three left. So these are just a beautiful glass ornament. They're quite rustic um, with the tops that they've been wired. They've got like a creamy top and then this silver base. So whilst we're not using the creamy um, color or the white so much in this tree, um, I think they're going to uh, add something quite different. And then we've got the silver. And again, the silver's got that, uh, it's not glitter. Um, it's uh, just a sort of speckled um, effect or an icy effect um, on the bauble. So we're going to add those as well. So let me go in and add those pieces. I might add some ribbon and um, we'll see if we can start to finish this tree. I think that's all the decoration I'm going to add to this tree. Now I've put in quite a few of these mint green trios and I think that it's just filling it out. So they're in the tree, they're on the out of the tree and I think that's enough. I will just have a final look, stand back and have a final look when I've finished adding the last two pieces. Now don't forget, we've got to add some of these silver um, picks and we're gonna go around the tree. So I will do that last. What I wanna do now is I just wanna add a couple of single loop, really simple bows using this ribbon. Now it is, I've only got one, um, uh, one reel, uh, which is, what have we got? We've got just under four and a half meters. So it's not a lot. And I'm just gonna go in and pop some single loops and maybe, um, one sort of billow out and around. Now it is kind of a music which doesn't make sense when you think about the over the oceans, uh, but it makes sense here, right? So uh, we're going to go in with a very tight loop with a very short tail at the top, and then we'll see whether we add a long tail or whether we actually add uh, one one loop in. So I'm going to start to do that. The last piece to go in are these little spikes. Now they were part of a very large uh, spray that I found at Kmart. This is many, many moons ago. Um, and so they've got little wires so you can wire them in. But there's so much decoration on this tree that really all I'm gonna need to do is find some spots to poke it in. There you have it. This is Over the Oceans. I'm pretty impressed with how it's come together. Uh, it's definitely got a lot of decoration. Um, it's quite a subdued color palette. So with a little bit of green and a little bit of that sort of dark navy blue or, or denim blue combination, uh, it's really bringing the tree together. A lot of these ornaments you can see through. So when it's on at night, um, the light is really shining through the tree beautifully. So I will show you a view where it's dark in this room, which it often is, uh, just so that you can see just how beautiful this tree really does look.
if you liked seeing this trade come together, then why not subscribe to Locked In Festivity and head over to Facebook and Instagram and follow me there because I'm sharing lots of Christmas decorating tips and tricks in the lead up to Christmas 2024. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thank you.